So most of you have seen, uh, this is Jonah, Jonah Foster Steinke, he was born on August the 11th, so we, how many days ago? 12 days ago. Yeah, so 12 days ago, most people think we're crazy for bringing him out in public already. Uh, three days after he was born, he was in church, where he's supposed to be. Um, but so Jonah was born at home, uh, he was five days early, praise God. Um, Jonah, he was born at home. Uh, Randy was a warrior, and um, there's a really cool guy, I mean, it was, it was an amazing story because he's born at home, right? We didn't need hospitals and drugs and all this nonsense, right? And I'm not saying that everybody needs to have a baby at home, it was just our choice, and it was an amazing one, and we were blessed throughout the entire thing. Um, but when little Jonah came out, um, he was having some, he was struggling a lot, uh, breathing. When he came out... And, and most babies, if you ever watch, if you ever watch the birth, they don't just come out like screaming right away. They take a little bit to kind of adapt to their environment, so it's totally fine. But when Jonah came out, he really wasn't breathing at all, and so we weren't really too worried. Uh, we'd seen it before in videos and stuff, but um, he was kind of taking a little longer than normal, I should say, right? So uh, his lungs were kind of full of water. It's something they call like wet lungs. His lungs had like mucus or water on them on them and he couldn't breathe real well and his, his breathing was at 94 beats per minute. Okay, So normal for a baby is 40 to 60 for a newborn, 40 to 60 uh, breaths per minute. He was at 94. All the research that I've done, because I'm doing some research on it, all the research I've done said the highest recorded limits are 90 and he was at 94 so that's pretty high. Um, and so the midwife was acting like she wasn't worried even though we could tell that she was. So she did a really good job though. Um, but the cool thing was we had a chiropractor there who was also our doula. A doula is kind of a woman who helps out, who's had the birth experience before and helps out with the birth. And I strongly recommend for any guy that's new out there to get a doula because it helped a lot. Because yeah. <laughs> you, just, you just can't even relate, you know, as a guy. But anyway, uh, she was a chiropractor too. She was amazing, Dr. Karen Ferguson, she's up in Ackworth. And um, so we're having this trouble, and of course the midwife is doing what, what she's supposed to do. She's trained to do these things. She's got an emergency oxygen tank there and all this stuff. Um, and she's, you know, she's kind of doing her thing, but the chiro you know, Dr. Karen said, can I check? And my response was, what are you waiting for? Yeah. And so uh -huh. she came over and she gave him his first specific scientific chiropractic adjustment, right atlas, just like his dad, um, mm -hmm. before the placenta, before the umbilical cord was even cut, wow. right? So literally within one minute of birth, he had his first adjustment. And uh, it was remarkable because... Um, he got his adjustment, and within seconds he kind of gave his first little cry, like his little, because he couldn't breathe, so you can't, if you can't breathe, you can't talk, you know, mm -hmm. you can't cry, so he gave his first little cry, and then within, uh, we, got, we got him to the bed, laid him down, and uh, he was still struggling a little bit, so they gave him a couple puffs of oxygen, and he started to breathe a little better, but he still kind of, and he regressed, so then Dr. Karen said, can I check him again, so she adjusted him again, um, this time she adjusted his occiput and baby sutures are real, you know, so she adjusted his, did some suture stuff. And within uh, 20 minutes, his respiratory rates went from 94 to 84. And then uh, within the next hour, they went from, 90, or from 84 to 70. So within three hours of him being born, his respiratory rate was pretty much back to normal. I mean, 70 is still a little high, but back to normal. Now, all the research that I've done on wet lungs in babies, or it's called transient tachypnea of newborns. It's, it's a self-learning, so they get better on their own, but usually it takes 72 hours. Mm. Now, Jonah got adjusted twice in the first three hours of birth, and he, was, he recovered within three hours. Mm. Now, so 72, now, so not that he wouldn't have gotten better, but it was amazing that he didn't have to struggle through that. Mm. Now, and because there's lots of long-term effects that can happen from it. And the other thing was that, uh, Babies that have that don't breastfeed very well because they're like a, in a they're in a traumatic state, right? And Jonah within an hour, and now he's like Mr. Piggy. So, <laughs> you guys saw right now. but it's just amazing because some people are so scared to get adjusted at 25 years old, right? right. Or 40 years old. But this kid still had the umbilical cord attached, and he got his first specific scientific chiropractic adjustment. It's very gentle. That removed interference and allowed his body to be whatever it was supposed to be, right? And he didn't have to wait. Now, the midwife told us the next day that if we would have been 
in the hospital or with any other midwife that he would have been in the cube, which is the ICU unit for kids where you can't touch them. They're in that little thing. You put your hands in gloves to touch them and stuff. And chances are, that, that's always a bad situation because kids need touch, right? They need to be touched and felt and moved. And uh, she, was, she was thoroughly impressed. Um, and they were impressed with Randy, too. Randy was an incredible, like, Xena warrior princess. <laughs> So really cool chiropractic little testimony, and as you can see, man, this kid's just healthy as can be right now. Um, he hasn't been to a pediatrician yet. We don't. I don't even want to talk about it. You know, I don't know. <laughs> yet, at least, uh, no shots, nothing in the eyes. Not. I mean, just this kid's just like 100% chiropractic. It's amazing. Sweet. So, yeah, future chiropractic advocate. I say. I don't say chiropractor because what if he's the next U.S. president that advocates chiropractic? Mm -hmm. You know, that's just as good to me. <laughs> <laughs>